Hi everybody, it's Terry with paperologist.blogspot.com and I wanted to let you know that I have been selected as a member of the Cutting Cafe uh, design team. I'm part of the video design team which means I get to do some projects and share them with you as videos. So today I'm going to share with you these place cards. Um, this would be for like your dining table and this one would be for like a buffet table if you were going to do a potluck or something like that. And what I'm cutting out today are these bunny images and they are available at the Cutting Cafe. So I'm going to take you to their site so you can see them. Here's a close-up of that one and a close-up of the other one. So here we go to the Cutting Cafe. This is the Cutting Cafe website and you see their address up here and I'll put it over in the sidebar as well and you can find it on my blog also. And the card that I'm going to cut out today as all of the files are listed here, they're also digital rubber stamp type images. So you could not only cut them out but you could color them as well. So this is the one that I'm doing, this bunny shaped card and to order it you just add to cart and use your PayPal account and it'll come to you in your email box and I've already done that too so I'm going to take you into the folder where I have my files stored. Okay so here are the files that I received from the Cutting Cafe and uh, there's a readme file here. This file WPC I can't open Here's a, several PDF files so you can see what they look like. So you could print those out directly and cut them out by hand if you want. But I'm going to work with this PNG file here. And I'm going to open it with Microsoft Paint. I think most people have Paint on their computer. And it's pretty big right now. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a Save As. And I'm going to save it as a JPEG. Because that's something that the Silhouette software can work with and I'm going to name it uh, bunny card one and I'm going to name it place card and I'm going to do this pretty quickly but you can always pause the video and run it back so um, here it is as the JPEG and you'll see that there now I'm going to pause while I load up the RoboMaster software this is the layout I used uh, for the sample cards, but I'm going to take you from the beginning so you can see how I did it. I'm sure there are other ways to do it, but this is what worked for me. So I have an untitled um, document here, and I set it up to be 12 by 8.5. That way I can maximize my paper since I'm using uh, cardstock for scrapbooking. I'm going to go to the Insert menu. I'm going to pick File and I'm going to pick this same JPEG and I'm just going to place him right there for right now I'm going to right click pick get outline I'm going to check this box as it's outer frame only convert to outline paste and exit I'm not going to do any other editing then what I'm going to do is right click again and I'm going to ungroup that's going to ungroup the outline which is the cut file from the art file. So I'm going to remove that one. That was the JPEG. Now he's just like any other silhouette uh, image. So I'm going to right click again. I'm going to go to position settings. I think I'm going to rotate him 90 degrees. Oh, now he's upside down. Not a big deal. I could also then mirror him vertical. So now he's face up. And you can see down here what his height and width are right now. So I could leave him that size. So he's five, uh, five, almost five and a half inches high. And if I unclick, I can go there and I can scale him. So let me show you again. This is what it looked like. Um, and I cut this file out. So I got four bunnies here. And let me go back and show you. Um, what the finished product looks like. So I just cut him out and I used pop dots to put him there and a little bit of glue and some cotton ball to make his cotton tail and the bow. So I hope you found this useful. If you have any tips or hints to share, please do so. Visit the Cutting Cafe. They have lots of great images to cut out and um, I'll be doing more of these videos and I'll do them live so you can see the actual creation of the card. Thanks for watching and have a great day.